everyone. It is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to make a very easy baked corn recipe. Today is actually Thanksgiving. For this recipe you are going to need one can of creamed corn. This is just Green Giant. Whatever brand you want to get, but you will need the creamed corn. One can, and these are 15 ounce cans, uh, one can of regular corn, two eggs beaten, one quarter cup sugar, three quarters of a stick of butter. So actually I'm going to use these two tablespoons of butter for something else. So six tablespoons of butter, three quarters of a stick, and we're going to melt that. So while I'm talking to you, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the pan and start melting that. Eight ounces of sour cream. This is 16 ounces, so I am going to just use half of this. So we'll need eight ounces of this and one eight and a half ounce box of corn muffin mix. And of course, I'm going to use Jiffy. I don't know if they make another brand of corn muffin mix, but that's the only one I've ever used. I'm going to use this extra few tablespoons of butter and just butter my dish. And I am using one of the Pampered Chef stoneware type dishes. They always do a good job. So you know what? I'm going to get up around the sides. And you should preheat your oven to 350 degrees. 350 degrees because this is going to have to bake for at least an hour. Okay, let's get started. One can of cream style corn, and we are not going to drain these. Do not drain, well you wouldn't drain cream style anyway, but don't drain the regular can of corn. And today, guess what kind of potatoes I'm going to make? I'm not making homemade, because it don't feel like it. <laughs> the Idahoan. They actually are pretty good potatoes. A lot quicker. I'm just not in the mood to do a lot. It's just going to be the five of us. I'm actually not a big fan of cream corn because it just looks disgusting. But in this recipe, it is delicious. So I think you'll love that. I'm going to mix it around. Let's get these two eggs ready. Heck, this whisk is so big, it's like not really helping that much in this little teeny bowl. As you can see, I think about everything ahead of time. I am a professional in the kitchen. <laughs> ah, how I wish. All right, I hear that butter melting, and guess what I'm doing today? I'm actually using real butter. Land O'Lakes real butter. I'm just going to spoil my family for once. Instead of being so cheap and using margarine all the time. And we got the quarter cup of sugar. So let's make sure. One can cream style. One can regular, two eggs beaten, we got it in there. Quarter cup of sugar, three quarter stick of butter melted. Now next, I am going to add the muffin mix before I add the sour cream. It just seems to mix better that way. So I'm gonna open this up, get that all around. If I do it the other way, then the muffin mix doesn't mix in as well after the sour cream. It's really strange, but that's what I've realized over the years of making this recipe. Actually, my mom's the one who gave me this recipe many, many, many moons ago. And uh, just the other day, she called and said, hey, Tanya, I can't find my baked corn recipe. Do you have it? <laughs> my, my golly, I do. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> this isn't that appealing when you look at it right now. But uh, you're going to like it. The sugar and the corn muffin mix really enhance this recipe along with the eggs. Right there, about eight ounces. So it would have been close to a cup. 
Let's see, is that a cup of ice water? Yep, here are some things that one cup is not equivalent to eight ounces. That's why you should always make sure. One cup of whole wheat flour is only five and a half ounces. One cup of rolled oats is only two and three quarter ounces. But like one cup of sour cream, it says is eight ounces, one cup of yogurt. So not everything is going to weigh eight ounces, even though it's a cup. Just wanted to throw there, you know, that out there. So you knew I wasn't crazy when I wanted to measure out the sour cream. So just something you learned here on these delights. Okay, we're going to pour everything in. Get it all out here. And this is going to have a nice sweet flavor. It's going to bake up real nice. Spread out evenly, ready to go into the oven for at least an hour at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put it in there uncovered. And for one hour, uncovered, it baked to a golden brown. And if you want to test it to make sure that it's cooked the whole way through, if it's golden brown on top, you should be good if you've baked it at 350 for an hour. It comes out clean. So that should be plenty of time, especially if you do it in a 9 by 13. If you do it in a rounder, deeper dish, it's going to take longer. But I've found that the 9 by 13 works best. So we'll be back with you here when we are having our Thanksgiving meal, and I will let my family members tell you about it. Well, we just had Thanksgiving dinner, and uh, we had the baked corn. So who Nothing all? Nothing else, just baked corn. Just baked corn. Just baked who corn. all had baked corn here at this table? All three of you. And Brady, give us your opinion first. What do you think of the baked corn? Very good. Very it's good. The best way to have corn. Best way. Yes, definitely. Then it doesn't seem like a vegetable, does it? Exactly. Eddie, Lindsay, what was your opinion of the baked corn? Even though you're still recovering mm -hmm. from uh, the where you can't taste anything after recovering from COVID, yeah. what? What do you think, a cor th though you it's know from good. past years, right? Yes, it's very okay. good. The texture is great. Great. That's right. And you can, <laughs> she can tell what texture it is. <laughs> yes, it's good. Very good. 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 Great. Very good. Very good. Doug, what's your opinion of the baked corn? I agree. It's, it's very good. And on the rating system, like we'd like to do here on D's Delights, let's see if Doug, what heat rating he does give it. He's never given above an eight. Okay. Doug. An eight. <laughs> I should never ask him again. Lindsay. Ten. Ten. Yep. Brady. Give it a nine. A nine. That's even very nine. good. All better than your really eight. Rates. Thank you. But we did have a delicious consistent. meal. You can't get much better than That's that. true. I don't think. You know. It, as far as corn as goes. As far as a corn dish. Yeah. What, you know, what better way could it be prepared? Regular corn, I'd give it a zero. Okay. Need help turning that up.